Belmont was opened up in 1903. It was opened up as a railroad stop. Uh, you had the, the, the north, south, east, west uh, trains running through and the tinkers or, or the salesmen would come stay at the Belmont Inn. Uh, it progressed over the years, uh, but it was a railroad hotel. If you see a lot of the small towns are always, used to have little railroad hotels where everybody would stay. Um, it went through and during, it was opened up as the Eureka Hotel, and in the 30s that name was changed to the Belmont Inn. Why, we have no idea. Um, it seems like it changed ownership at the time, and it was somebody that came down from New York, uh, so possibly it was named after Belmont, New York, in that range, but it became the Belmont Inn. It saw action as with a lot of the people at the Opera House, a lot of the um, the actors and actresses stayed here, and there was a real good relationship between the two from what I understand. In the 60s and 70s, it started like all small towns, it was really going down, the Opera House wasn't doing any business, uh, and so it closed down sometime in the 70s. In the 1980s, uh, it was remodeled. Uh, if you see the pictures on the walls we have, you understand it was almost torn down and made way for parking for the city offices next door, from what I understand. But fortunately, uh, George Settles uh, found some investors to come in and remodel it, and they completely redid everything in 83 and 84, and opened back up as the Belmont Inn, back in its even grander than it was before. Uh, it was operated until 1996, where they closed it again, and we bought it in 1996. And when we came in, we basically almost remodeled all cosmetically. Uh, there wasn't much color in the hotel. Uh, we remodeled with all Victorian colors. I had a seamstress come up from Charleston and I knew that we redid the window treatments in every room. We bought a lot of new antiques for everything. We pulled up any carpet that was here, uh, sanded all the floors down, redid all the floors, painted all the rooms, and just completely cleaned up the whole interior. And we've had it for eight and a half years. Um, and we started back in last year and tore out the bar and have remodeled the bar now and reopening it. And we are reopening it as Tinker's Alley. Uh, not necessarily, it was the Curtain Call Lounge. And now it's gonna be Tinker's Alley Tavern. Uh, Tinker's Alley, because of the, it's down the long part, uh, George Settles told me this when I first bought the place. That that's what it was named as for the salesman from the railroad that set up their way over there on the weekend. And it was called Tinker's Alley because Tinker was a salesman. And so we're renaming it more to go with the history of the hotel.